the fifth best in qualification. He's only 19, it's his European Championship debut, and he has got one of the most famous gymnastic surnames in all of Switzerland. He's from a great family, and this continues the legacy. We'll talk more about his wonderful story and his wonderful family in a moment. Oleg Vanyaev, the top performer in qualification. No Ukrainian has ever won the European Pommel Hall's title. The 30-year-old is one of the most proven performers in finals. This man has been on an Olympic podium on two occasions. Ilya Yubimov of Israel, the eighth best in qualification, joint eighth best. We have a nine strong final. It's his second European Championship. He's becoming more familiar to us when it comes to international finals now. Here's the top man, the all-around European champion, Marios Jorgiu. The first ever Cypriot to be the all-around champion of Europe. Could he win the first ever Cypriot medal on Pommelhorst? He was the seventh best in qualification. To the sixth most successful nation on the Pommelhorst at the European Championships, Armenia. This is Gugik Kachikian, 21 from Yerevan, the sixth best in qualification. Only one gentleman has ever won a medal for the Netherlands on the Pommel Horse. Him, Lauren de Munk, in 2022. Second place in Munich. He was the third best in qualification. An absolute specialist on the Pommel Horse. He's a very fine gymnast. Isn't this a great moment? Levan Skiladze of Georgia, the joint eighth best in qualification. No Georgian has ever won a medal at the European Artistic Gymnastics Championship for men. This would be incredible if he could get onto the podium. And it's a pommel horse final, so you just never know. Here is Rhys McLennigan of Ireland, the gentleman who has led Ireland to being the seventh most successful nation in the history of the Pommel Horse at the European Championship. He is the reigning two-time consecutive champion of the world and the two-time European champion. But hold on just a moment. The veteran is here, Philip Uday, the fourth best in qualification, an Olympic silver medalist in Beijing in 2008. European Championship silver medalist the same year and also in 2020. Could you imagine if he gets onto... Marios Yoriu of Cyprus, the all-around champion of Europe. The gymnast from the smallest nation ever to produce a European all-around champion. This is a lap of honor. And this is one of the reasons why he is so good in the all-around competition. Steady one pommel work. Busnari. Wonderful pirouetting on that. I wonder if he didn't do actually just a little extra than what he was planning. The happiest man in Europe is in front of you. His name is Marios Jorgiu. Well, Every time he walks away from a piece of apparatus, he looks as though he's not entirely sure how that just happened. Absolutely on his shoulders, because so many were talking about him as a contender for that Olympic berth. <laughs> he's in the lead, 14.8. He looks stunned. He's the man who stuns Europe at the moment. Laurent de Monk of the Netherlands, the 
runner-up in 2022 in this competition. He's from Harlem near the west coast of the Netherlands. He says he absolutely loves the pommel horse for the simple reason of you just never know yourself as a gymnast if you're actually going to manage to stay on. Well, that makes all of us when we watch one of these finals. Scissor to handstand. So this is a routine that is just packed with difficulty. It doesn't stop. Vendishwing on one pommel. It's going to drop down and then three Vendishwings, three full turns between the two pommels. And all of that while keeping lovely line, except for that little flicker, the slight leg separation. Can he keep it together? The traveling Vendishwing. Very nicely executed. He's down into the Magyar Shivato combination. What a remarkable save from Lauren de Monk of the Netherlands. It seemed that he was heading off the apparatus and something biomechanically deep within him just went, nope, and he carried on. <laughs> People have fallen for smaller mistakes. He leads 14.933. That difficult score. worth watching is this fabulous athlete from Ireland, Rhys McLennigan. The second best performer in qualification, but the reigning two-time consecutive world champion and the reigning champion of Europe as well. Very clean start. This is Pommel Horse taken to the maximum. The Vendishwing, three of them on one pommel. The Vendishwing is very, very important to him and his difficulty in this routine. We see it again here, this time between the pommels, and he's not done yet. Right there, traveling Vendishwings. And back down the pommel right into Vendishwings at the end of the horse. It's so difficult. Well, that's just majestic, isn't it? From Reese McLennigan, the world champion, and the gentleman in search of yet another European title. He packs his routine with refer to the words of Rosemary Jenkinson who wrote a poem for Poetry Day Ireland called Pommel Horse for Rhys McLennigan. He slaps the horse's hide into plumes of white flowery chalk as his hands pirouette on the smallest stage, his skin patting the leather until he grips the pommels and feet pointed like a ballerina in the air. He spins, scissors, spindles and flares and he has gone into the gold medal position. She didn't write that last line, but Reese McLennigan has just written his place into the record books again. 15.3. The classified results in the Pommel Horse competition. The winner of the bronze medal, the first Cypriot ever to be on the podium in this event, Marios Yorgiu of Cyprus. The winner of the silver medal, Lauren de Monk of the Netherlands, the second time he's done that. And the champion of Europe again is Rhys McLennigan, the reigning champion of the world. And what a score, 15 points. The soldier's song adopted in 1926. Music by Patrick Heaney and lyrics by Peter Kearney and Liam Orin. Played in honor of Rhys McLennigan. The medalist in the men's pommel horse competition at the European.